Hi, I'm Brittany with County Systems, and today we're going to be pressing a dog bowl using an oven wrap. And there is two reasons why this is so great using the oven wrap is that if you don't have a press that's going to accommodate the item that you're pressing, we have brought a conventional oven. You're going to need something separate for your sub, uh, sublimation. You're not going to be able to use your own oven at home. You're going to have a separate unit, and we'll be able to do an array of different products to kind of let you pick and choose on different things that you're going to want to offer your customers that your press might not let you do. And two, another thing that is so great about this product in particular is just as we got to have a little shortcut with our press, I'm going to show you how we're going to have a shortcut from not having to use a wide format printing. I have another option available there too. So just to kind of make you have a better use with what you got. So today, I brought with me the items, a blank dog bowl. We have our dye trans wrap. I'm going to be using Pro Spray. You can use heat tape though. That is your preference. I have a pair of scissors. Cut some narrow strips of protective paper. My image we're going to display and some gloves for moving in and out of my oven. So what we're going to do first is take a look at our image and if you do have a wide format printer you can print straight across an image that will cover the entire diameter of this bowl but if you do not we have a template where you'll notice that there's two pieces and both pieces wrapped together all around the bowl will give it a full coverage all the way up to your actual clasp and it will again just give you a uh, image all the way around without actually having to use a wide format printer. So what I'm going to do right now is grab my scissors and I'm going to cut along the inside of my image and I'm going to make two separate pieces that we can wrap around our bowl. And with my template cut out, I want to quickly point out that I did have a white background. This was just going to make it a little bit easier when I do the bowl because of the white background here. I don't have to be as clean with my lines when cutting and it's still going to produce a nice high end finish. And also with your template, even the thin, back, the thin black lines are going to be sublimatable. So be careful with that. Make sure that you're only cutting out your image and that is the only thing that we're going to transfer onto our bowl. What we're going to do next is Grab our bowl, our wrap, and our pro spray. Get our pieces of paper also. Lightly mist each side of our images. Take my second piece and we're going to lightly mist it with pro spray. One side of the images is going to touch and the other side there should be a small gap and space for the clasp of the oven wrap. One of my favorite things about Pro Spray is that it lets you pick up and move your image until it's exactly where you want it. With something that's round surface it's very important that we Take the extra time to make sure it's exactly in place. Okay, that's nice and smooth. And you'll see that there's a slight gap and that these are nearly touching. If you haven't used your oven wrap before, or even if you have and you find it's a little stiff, you might want to just try to pull on it a little bit, stretch it out before we go to wrap. It might make it easier and more form fitting. This is our protective sheet of paper. It is very important, especially in this instance. It's always important in every press, but if you have any heat sit too long on your ceramic, you might start noticing some scorch marks because it is going to sit in there for 17 to 18 minutes. So it's important that we have a piece of protective paper that's going to cover the entire bowl. Grab my oven wrap. And I have my gap facing me. I'm going to put my protective paper and we'll show you just exactly what we're doing here. We're going to stretch our wrap around and when we pull this through, 
you'll see that it actually locks itself into place. And so we have our extra protective paper hanging off on the edges. I'm just going to quickly just push those out the way. Doesn't have to be perfect, just make sure I cover all of my surface. And we're ready to go to our oven. I have my oven set at 400 degrees, obviously no pressure this time, and we're going to leave it in here for 17 to 18 minutes, and we should have a perfect dog bowl. Now that my 17 minutes is up, we're going to take out our dog bowl. Make sure we use gloves because this is very, very hot. The oven wrap is very easy to unlock and then the Pro Spay makes it even easier to peel back. Oh wow, that just came right off very, very easily. That looks awesome. That looks amazing. Now the bowl is going to be very hot so we're going to give it several minutes to cool and we'll just leave it on a cool flat surface. And like I said, it will take several minutes because it has been cooking for 17 to 18 minutes, so please allow it plenty of time to cool. For more products and services by Condi, be sure to visit our website at condi.com and be sure to watch more of my videos at conditv.com where we have done more presses with different dye trans wraps and there's a lot more information. I'm Brittany with Condi Systems and thank you for joining us.